The Easter weekend in 1993 saw Wimbledon, who were in their second season as tenants at Selhurst Park, face landlords Crystal Palace on a very wet afternoon. The Dons had been hammered 6-2 at Oldham the week before, so manager Joe Kinnear made three changes. Warren Barton and Scott Fitzgerald came in for Peter Fear and Dean. Two key players, leading scorer Chris Armstrong and defender Eric Young through suspension. There was one change from the side that drew with Queen's Park Rangers. John Champion. Vic Callow from Solihull in the West Midlands. Blowing the whistle on a very damp afternoon in South East London. Sanchez wants to take the throw swiftly. And a looping header. Two away at Oldham last weekend. Thorne has gone to the near post. Now he's being marshalled by Roger Joseph. Segers with the punch and with two follow up smothering saves. Paul Williams. Taking on Fitzgerald. Vinny Jones, not involved today for Wimbledon. Driven for Ardley. Oh! First blood to the tenant. Simple move, but... Goldsworth spreading play. Palace left back sucked in, Simon Roger. And the perfect cross from Neil Hardley onto the broad forehead of that goal scoring midfielder, Robbie Earl. Come on! Onto the head of Fitzgerald. an effort that Gareth Southgate will linger long on. Earl. Scales. One for Gerald Dobbs to chase this time. Oh, Martin lost it, Holdsworth scores! Two in four minutes for Wimbledon. And Nigel Martin left, red-faced. Never an easy job being a goalkeeper playing Wimbledon. Bodies flying in all around you. Earl made the challenge on Martin. Didn't seem anything wrong with it. It's a slippery ball on a day such as this. And it just squirmed. Just a bit too much on it for his comfort. Fitzgerald cleaned out man and ball by Coleman. To yellow card, some even a red. Dobbs, Robbie Earl, not quite. Similar combination to providing from the right-hand side and Earl arriving with his head. Just out. Just out to weight of numbers. Williams. As it is, it's hardly. And Sanchez. Half time. And Wimbledon will be pretty content with that. Goals from Robbie Earl and then from Dean Holdsworth. Crystal Palace reduced to sporadic threats. Nothing more than that. It's Wimbledon 2, Crystal Palace 0. Southgate sliding in. Crystal Palace with the free kick. Palace's main problem this season has been the charge down. And now the break is on for Andy Clark. Now he is rapid. Teasing Humphrey and setting up Holdsworth. Opening minute of the second half. Wimbledon make it 3-0. And the assist goes to Andy Clark. John Humphrey sent one way, then the other. Pass into space, occupied... 
Rogers going to hit this by the looks of it. Southgate poised over the ball. It is Roger. Just helped on its way by Hans Segers. And with that cup defeat by Hartlepool. There's Earl! And that season has just got a little bit worse. As Wimbledon make it 4-0. And Robbie Earl heads his second. I like the first. A resounding header. And not for the first time this afternoon. Gerald Dobbs, the provider. There's just no stopping Robbie Earl from six yards. Difficult nature of their remaining fixtures. This hefty defeat is serious for Palace. And even now, McGoldrick can't... Scales. Hardly. Southgate. And by Gordon for Coleman. Humphrey. Coleman, maybe a consolation. Maybe not. Today that Palace will happily forget and quickly. Full time at Selhurst Park. And it's Wimbledon's day. Winners by four goals to nil. A brace for Earl, a brace for Holdsworth. Their best win of the season, leaving Palace deep in trouble. Wimbledon four, Crystal Palace nil.